Hello everybody and welcome to your close-up super zoom weekly reading. Um, I am on the road. Um, I want to share that what I call presents or being in the moment is the most powerful tool to achieve anything you wish to achieve in any field or any facet or factor of life. Just by bringing yourself into present awareness, people think if you hear the word living in the moment, people, people say, oh, I live in the moment. There's this idea that it's just some kind of crazy, you know, like the fool, the fool card, the zero card, that there's some, like there's something missing, that they've got a screw loose or there's something missing, you know. And that's because we have this idea, I think, that we believe that if we live in the moment, we're always doing these crazy things all the time, like jumping off cliffs. And... Sometimes, yes, it can be that, but that's, it, it actually looks a lot more still than that. It's a bit like speed, it's super speed and complete stillness at the same time. That's, that's presence. It's the kind of spaces in between life. From that space... You can achieve and have anything on a physical level. I promise. Because this is a feeling world. When you feel into it and also what ha the, the place of connection is the moment. It's where you connect to what some might call divine will or divine timing, that's where you connect to it. The only way that we can feel powerful over our circumstance is to align with our circumstance. And essentially to increase our perception of the current moment. It's like a GPS. If you don't know where you are, you cannot get to where you want to be. But essentially what happens in that space is it's, it's, it is inspiration. Where that comes from, who knows? But really it comes from spirit, source, God, life, the divine, the all, the one. Life itself, I like to call it life, life itself is moving you and when you align with life, so if you look at something and it seems to be wrong and your mind says that's wrong, essentially it's just a waste of time. That doesn't mean you can't have that perception, but it's not a waste of time to have the perception or the perspective. But it's a waste of time to, uh, to adhere or to stick to the belief, to believe that it's true. Because any time you say this shouldn't be happening, you create resistance in your life in achieving your highest destiny. Um, yeah, so just wanted to say that. Stay tuned until the end because... Um, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Um, bottom of the deck for this week is King of Wands. Interesting. Interesting. For me, the King of Wands is a warm, passionate, stable grounded spiritual being 
this seems to me to feel as though it's the spiritual it's it's the it's the inspired it's exactly what i was talking about if we talk about the inspiration and the holy spirit we can call it divine spirit i like that divine spirit so it's in the masculine hands so the masculine it's as though the masculine is getting a hold of divine spirit of spirit of of himself inspired in spirit that's creativity it's it's to be inspired in the moment it's to be moved by by god by by life by by life force by chi it's it's to to connect to life also what i like about this kind of zoomy way of uh of reading for you um is that we can get to see the detail on these cards that look at the life that grows from that wand we call them wands but they have life in them like it's alive those those leaves are green this is a magic wand how can it not be a magic wand it has green leaves on it and yet it seems to be a cylindrical carved piece of wood it's just wood and yet it has life it's about creation itself creation and inspiration and the divine masculine is coming into focus um in his spirit his understanding of himself it's like he's allowing himself to be moved he he's there's a little bit of hesitation he's sitting down he's just getting a hold of it he's just getting a hold of it this king looks unsure doesn't he he looks a little bit like with the way his hand is there, his left hand, it's as though he wants to get up and do something, but he's not sure. He feels like he's a bit of a new king. He's not, he, he's like, oh, I'm not, I don't, yeah. Uh, ooh, what, what, when? Yeah, it's like, it's as though that's what his mind's doing. Um, even though he's a king and, and he he's regal and he's true, he knows himself, but it's as though... He's not quite sure what to do with this position and this wand. So, interesting. It's a the kind of theme for the week. Let's start off with the feminines definitely on this side. And this week's full masculine feminine reading is all about the awakening of the masculine. And the consequences of that. And the feminine branching out into her new world because of it. See you in a sec. 